Hello students, I hope you all are liking my videos and sharing it with your friends and you have subscribed my channel also but in case you haven't then please do subscribe it right now. Thank you. So this video is about partial differentiation. Under this we will discuss specifically about homogeneous function and Euler's theorem. So a function z is equals to function of x, y set to be homogeneous function of degree n if for any real number where lambda is greater than 0 then if we multiply variable both the variables with the lambda then the value of the function is multiplied with lambda raised to power n. So whenever it is happening then we say that the function is homogeneous function with degree n. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So for example this is your function where x and y are the two independent variables and we have to show that it is a homogeneous function. So this is our original function. Now we have multiplied each of our two variables with lambda. So we have multiplied them. Then we have taken lambda raised to power 5 as common. Sorry this is wrong. So this is x5 and y5. So now this is our original function that is x raised to power 5 plus y raised to power 5 and we have taken this lambda raised to power 5 as common. So we will say that this function is a homogeneous function with degree n. So this is very simple and this is one of the example of polynomial function only where we see that the both the variables have the same power. So whenever the both the variables have the same power then the degree will also will have the same power. So in polynomial function in two variables they are said to be homogeneous if the degree of each term is same. So the degree of homogeneity is the common degree of each term. So now this is the another set of example of polynomial function where function is equals to x square y raised to power 5. Now again we will multiply each of the variable with lambda. Then we will take lambda. Uh, this is lambda square x square. Then lambda raised to power 5 y raised to power 5. Now in this case the power of lambda will be 7. That is 2 plus 5. So in this case where the polynomial function is in multiplication form then the lambda value will be the, the addition of the powers of both the variables. So in this case the degree of the homogeneity is 7. Okay. So polynomial function in a nutshell if I say polynomial functions are those functions whose power is positive. That is not in negative and not in decimal form. So all the functions which have positive power they say that it is polynomial function. So these are the two rules of polynomial functions. When we talk about rational function that is the quotient of two polynomials then we say that it will be homogeneous if both the numerator as well as denominator are separately homogeneous and the degree of the homogeneity of the given function is the degree of numerator minus the degree of denominator. So first we will find out whether both the numerator and denominator are homogeneous and if it is yes then the degree will be the, de uh, the degree of homogeneity will be the degree of numerator minus the degree of denominator. So in this case again we will multiply lambda with both the variables. So in this case we will take lambda 5 as common. So this is definitely homogeneous function right because this is the power of both the variables are same. Similarly for the denominator lambda square can be taken as common because in this case also the powers are same. So when we take lambda raised to power 5 as common for numerator, lambda square as a common for denominator, then the degree of homogeneity will be degree of numerator minus degree of denominator that is 5 minus 2 that is 3. So we will say for this function the degree of homogeneity is 3. I hope this is easy. You can definitely practice the other set of questions and in case of any doubts you can definitely write to me. 
now we'll discuss the next very important theorem that is euler's theorem and this is very very important from the examination point of view and i would say this is the most easiest one also because in that case you just have to memorize this simple formula in which the partial derivatives that is first order partial derivatives are multiplied with the corresponding independent variable that is xx and in this case yy then you are adding them up that should be equal to the degree of homogeneity with the original function so this is the power of euler's theorem which uh, this is the euler's theorem which says that if you add the product of first order derivatives with their corresponding independent variable then it should be equal to the value of homogeneous function corresponding to its degree let's understand this with the help of an example suppose this is your function and you have to verify the euler's theorem so now we have to take the partial derivative of this function with respect to x and now this function which rule we have to use the sum or difference rule of the differentiation so we'll take the differentiation of the each variable individually so for 3x cube since this is in respect of x so we'll assume y as to be constant so this should be 9x square plus this is the product rule so x as common x square as it is differentiation of constant is 0 so 0 plus y as it is x square this is power rule so it is 2x1 plus this is constant so 0 so this is the first partial order derivative with respect to x now with respect to y since this is constant so it is 0 6 as common x square as it is differentiation of y is 1 plus y as it is differentiation of x square it is constant so 0 then 2y cube 2 as it is y cube this is the power rule so 3y square so this is the answer of first partial derivative with respect to y now we'll simply multiply this partial derivative with x and this with y so we'll multiply them when we multiply this our answer will be 9x cube plus 12y x square plus 6x square y plus 6y cube now we'll add these two because these are same so 9x cube plus 18 x square y plus 6y cube now we can take 3s common so when we take 3s common this is our original function so now we can say that this function is a homogeneous function with degree n so this is your euler's theorem this is very easy you just have to practice four five questions then you are good to go you just have to take the note of this formula and after it is done then there is nothing difficult in this theorem i hope you like my video i'll keep uploading more videos on business mathematics till then please like my videos and subscribe my channel thank you